How do you make an engaging social media post that tells a story? And how do you design that post in a more practical way? Hi, I'm Zahir, a designer and creator, and welcome to CanvaQ. Today we are tackling a design trend that's been dominating social media, which are carousel designs, and more specifically seamless designs with overlapping content. Let's address a common challenge with carousel designs. Overlapping elements bleeding from one slide to another. It's a tricky issue that many designers face, disrupting the seamless experience we aim for in carousels. Traditionally, carousels are designed in a single artboard. But here's the snag. Misaligning elements on different slides becomes an issue, and designing one slide at a time hampers our ability to see the flow from one slide to the next. It's like painting a mural one tile at a time without seeing the full picture. In this video, we will look at a simple solution to help solve this issue. It's by no means a perfect solution, but definitely a practical one. Essentially, what we will do is rather than designing one slide in isolation or one below the other, we design our carousel as one long artboard and then separate each slide afterwards. So let's go ahead and set up the design space, the single artboard. But before we do that, let's go to the calculator and let's get the value for the size, the dimensions for the single artboard. So we will use the 1080 width pixel value as our base and we will multiply that by, let's say, four artboards and we'll get the value of 4320 pixels. So we can take that value and go back into Canva and create the design. Choose the custom size and make sure that you have the pixel option selected and add the value of 4320 by 1080, which is the height, and create the design. Now we have the single artboard that we can use to create our carousel. And the next step will be to go over to File, View Settings, and then we can choose Add Guides. So, of course, we want to use the custom option, zero gap, and we want four columns. And now we have these guides that will help us set out our design and allow us to overlap the content that we want. It goes from one slide to the next. So I went ahead and designed these different slides, which are meant to be a carousel and they should merge and bleed into one another and they should be seamless so the, the key issue that we have here and the one that we are trying to avoid is the overlapping content so this image is overlapping onto slide number 2 and so for this image onto slide number 3 and so forth right? so having these images meet up perfectly on the next slide so that there are no gaps when the viewer scrolls and views our posts on social media. That everything should be seamless and they should all feel like one image that is being swiped or scrolled. So what I did was I downloaded all of these images as single images and I placed them on another single artboard, a bigger artboard over here to illustrate the problem even more. So if we go in closer, we can see that these images, the overlapping content, they don't line up. Same over here, same over here. So this is precisely what we are trying to avoid. And in this example, also a single artboard, I designed them all on one artboard. So in this example, we won't have that issue because each element or all of these elements are placed on one single artboard and we will go ahead and separate the slides once the design is complete. So if we go in a bit closer, you can see that it's seamless and this is exactly the result that we want. A quality result. 
so once your design has been completed, go ahead and download the design, the entire artboard as one image, either JPEG or PNG. So share, download, and then choose either JPEG or PNG. In our case, we'll do a JPEG, a high quality JPEG, and then download the file. So after downloading the image, head over to this website, mysocialboutique.co. The link will be in the description. Head over to upload an image and then select an image. So you can actually head over here. This is the one that I downloaded. And over here we can select the amount of columns that we want for the Instagram grid. And in our case, we need four. And we can choose other ones like carousel. We can choose how many grids we want. We need four. If you leave it on grid and increase that, it will display and cut them up differently. So we want them as four and in carousel format and then click on the split image button. We'll just wait for a few seconds while it splits the image. So now that the design has been sliced and separated, you can download each one of them separately. And just like that, we've completed the carousel design seamlessly. And now we can upload that onto our social media platform of choice. So after downloading the JPEGs, Pull them onto one artboard so that you can test them and then let's pull them open and extend so that we can test. Okay, and the last one and let's head over and have a look. Let's zoom in and, and see how seamless they are. So you can see that they meet up perfectly. So this is the benefit of designing carousels on one long artboard, slicing it up and then uploading onto our social media platform of choice. And like that, we've achieved an excellent result. Thanks for watching. And if you are passionate about design in Canva, please subscribe and like the video.